Guys, I'm happy. I now have standards. Back in the day, I used to be like y'all. A chick would be 500 pounds. I hit it. But now, I won't hit it. I only hit a chick that's 300 pounds and below. And another thing, I'll be damned if I make a lesbian scamming car jacking police officer arrest me. Hell to the no. I already get arrested by a police officer that been passed around the entire department before I make a lesbian carjacking scammer police officer arrest me. Oh, the only female officer fired in connection to Laverne Police Department scandal reaches a settlement with the city. She will receive $500,000 because she dismissed a lawsuit against the city. Hall and four other officers were fired in January of last year after an investigation showed she and other male officers had sex on the job and lied about it. But the lawsuit claimed that she was a victim of sexual harassment and that she was groomed. Since the investigation investigation made national headlines. Her attorney said she was publicly ridiculed, which made it difficult for her to find a job. The city did not admit any liability, and Hall settlement money will not come from taxpayer dollars. We are told the city's insurance provider will pay that 500 grand. So let's watch a few clips, and we'll come back and chop it up AHS style. And be sure to like the damn video. This gonna be a good one. This county rookie officer facing criminal charges. That officer appeared before a judge today. Sierra Alston faces three counts of unauthorized use of a vehicle. 7 News Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell was in the courtroom. So Brad, what played out during today's arraignment? Yeah, so look, it was a very brief appearance in court. She essentially said, yes, she's hired an attorney and they set some future court dates. But what we learned from some documents today is that even though this officer is charged with unauthorized use of just three vehicles, the investigation which led to her was touched off when the rental car company realized that they had 30 cars stolen from their lot at Reagan National Airport. And I'm going to tell you, after this hearing today, the officer was in no mood to answer our questions. Ms. Alston, is there anything that you would like to say? Yes, get those cameras on my face. You like a cashew. Did you steal these cars? Did you? Prince George's County Police Officer Sierra Alston leaving the Arlington County District Court today after a brief appearance for her arraignment. As we first reported Monday, the rookie cop celebrated by the department last spring in a social media post during Women's History Month was arrested last week after being charged by Washington Metropolitan Airport Authority police with unauthorized use of three BMWs stolen from the sixth rental car company at Reagan National Airport. Now, we know from court documents that her charges stem from an investigation into 30 cars stolen from the company's lot. Alston was tied to three of them when her police jacket and documents were found in one, her phone connected to Bluetooth in a second, and she was seen with the third BMW in D.C. police body cam footage. It's also alleged when confronted by an investigator last spring, she claimed she had taken an Uber and lost her jacket. When told that car was in front of her house, it's alleged she claimed she didn't live there. Alston has been on light duty since last April. Sources say it is because of her pregnancy. She is now suspended without pay. Get those cameras out of my face. Thank you. Uh, watch out. Is there, you, is there anything you want to say about this at all? Yeah, so yesterday we posed a number of questions to the Prince George's County Police Department. We got answers today. Primarily, yes, she had a background check before she was hired last year. She is in her probationary period, but under Maryland state law, she can't just be fired there is a process and even though she was connected last year to this she wasn't suspended because she was already on alternate duty in arlington brad bell seven news <sighs> oh boy prince george police department y'all gave her a chance she had a neck tattoo and y'all gave her a chance to be a police officer and this is how she pay y'all back by trying to steal police cars <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know that you will end up stealing police cars. She already stealing from the airport. She was eventually go get to them damn police car. And some police department, they got some nice ass ride. But Prince George Police Department, they down bad. Y'all better have that officer that having sex while on duty. And these Hispanic motherfuckers that didn't be deported snitched on his head. And then get into the back of the officer's squad car. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. And then what really made us go like, wow, like this is crazy is when 
like I said, when the car started rocking a little bit to the left and right, that's when they were like, wow, this is crazy. And broad daylight with kids around. He was in the car for about 35 to 40 minutes. Afterward, he says both quickly drove away in separate directions. You have a press yours, police department. Y'all just need to shut the hell down. I know a lot of folks wondering, why do I call the lesbian former PG County police officer a scammer? Why well, I say former? The way she talked to that white man and asked him a dumbass question. Did you steal a car? She gonna get fired immediately. The stuff she did prior, ain't gonna get her fired. But the way she talked to the white man with that tone, she is out of a job. Ms. Austin, is there anything that you would like to say? Yes, get those cameras on my face. She like a cashew. Did you steal these cars? Did you? But why do I call her a scammer? This is the guy scam. This is how the, the guy do the scam. You see Harvey Weinstein? Every time he go to court, oh, I'm sick. I got a heart attack. So the guy scam is to be sick so they won't keep him in jail. The female scam is very simple. Get pregnant. Elizabeth Holmes, she did it. And the lesbian police officer is doing it too. Why call her a scammer? She's a straight lesbian. Her dumb ass. Instead of bringing Pookie and Ray Ray to the court, she brought her butch lesbian partner. Who's the man and who's the female? in this relationship i can't tell both of these chicks got nasty ass attitude got a nerve to be disrespectful to that white man he asked her a simple question and she followed up with a dumb ass question her scamming ass i won't make her scamming ass arrest me if i'm a judge and she try to run that scam on me you do half and the baby do half decide which half you want to do i ain't following that damn scam nigerian scammers got me no jamaican lottery scam got me i ain't falling for no damn baby scam